today on air Eichfast. Welcome to the next edition of the German Property News. Also today, we bring you the latest updates from the real estate business. You will hear which asset categories and forms of investments from our industry are in higher demand. Then we will show to you which locations deliver the highest return of investment according to the latest surveys. And finally, we would like to invite you to a place in the vicinity of Dresden at which studies grow to be reality. Let's kick it off with the question, which asset classes are best suited for investors? The agency Ernest & Young published its latest asset management study in which it stated that real estate is continuing to be the most powerful asset class focusing on residential properties. In their study, the auditors and consultants of Ernest & Young illustrate that opportunities, risks and developments of the real estate industry in cooperation with Vonovia, 40 companies were questioned about their opinion on the asset management throughout Germany. Real estate turned out to be highly attractive. 90% of the interviewed are planning to integrate more apartments or houses into their portfolio. Also, 90% assign value to a long-term holding period of at least eight years. Again, especially residential property is in favor here. The result reads as follows. 82% of fortunes are invested in residential property, even ousting office space with 56% and commercial property with 38%. Already today, two-thirds of the respondents' asset is comprised of residential property. Most of it is located in Germany's top seven cities, Berlin, Dusseldorf, Frankfurt am Main, Hamburg, Cologne, Munich, and Stuttgart. Still, 80% of assets are invested at A locations and the strongest B cities. The popularity of real estate as an asset is boosting the entire industry, says the Haufer Group. Investors are rushing to German real estate. In 2018, the commercial property volume topped 60 million for the first time. Properties mainly in the top seven cities are short. That's why project developments are booming. A fifth of all single investments transactions is allocated to not finished project developments, says the real estate provider JLL. As a consequence, fewer possibilities for investors are offered in A cities. Favorable objects in the core segments are expensive. The rate of return accordingly is modest. Especially pension funds and insurances are showing a strong interest in B city investments. At A locations, the return of, of traditional utility classes like office, retail and residential are rarely topping 3%. And when they do, they tend to associate higher risk. Even in case of higher return at B locations, they lack funding partners. Trans-regional real estate funders are still favoring the large metropolitan areas. Only a few of them are showing interest in the countryside. Meantime, more and more experts are complaining about the complicated execution of real estate projects at A locations, not only because of the exact measures in construction laws, but also because of higher costs for approval procedures. During the last two years alone, construction costs increased up to 30%. That mainly is due to the fact that the construction industry is at its capacity limits, say more and more real estate experts. This results in longer terms of project developments. Until a few years ago, one assumed for them to be finished within two to three years. Now, today, five years are the default state. At B locations like Ingolstadt or Augsburg, projects can be rushed mostly. Moreover, the return is higher than at hotspots like Munich, however. Bottlenecks in the construction industry become visible more and more. The cause for the depletion of capacity is that the risk for residential property not necessarily is higher than at A locations. It is always needed. When it comes to the development of projects outside of the metropolitan areas, the demographics may not be overlooked. The population of Germany is growing older. That's why more facilities for an age-appropriate living are needed and why the German Property Group is aiming for such projects, mainly outside of the classical metropolitan area. 
Since 1995, the number of elderly dependents increased as much as 35% in order to be able to supply these people with homes in the future. Until 2030, approximately 340,000 care facilities have to be built, at which the location is vital. Most seniors prefer to live in quiet neighborhoods. At the same time, relatives should have a short and comfortable journey. Close to Dresden, the German property group detected an object suiting the needs of age-appropriate housing perfectly. At Brunsdorf, only 30 minutes' drive from Dresden halfway to Chemnitz, an old farm estate is situated. It was built in the 18th century and restructured to be an orphanage, which was shut down after the fall of the Berlin Wall. Most of the buildings of the estate are just next to the village of Brunsdorf. The latest plans show possible facilities for age-appropriate living. The peaceful location at the edge of a medieval village offers all the recovery and relaxation most seniors are looking for. Since the complex was already used as a home, the separation in smaller units is given. These might be transferred to the new concept as well. The plans of the project developer involves a comprehensive restructuring of the listed heritage as well as the new buildings. Here, new residential units, as well as spacious event facilities, may be provided. Also, a restaurant or a cafeteria is conceivable. That's it from the German property news for today. I'm looking forward to the next time to get you up to date with the latest in real estate news. Talk to you later.